Okay, these are two cats who love to greet you in the window. The uh, gray and white one, that's I Spy. And the other one, come on, is Junior. I Spy and Junior. They want to eat. <laughs> okay, so there's others outside too, but those like to get in the window and tell you, feed me. Okay, so I'm old enough to be a grandmother. Probably even a great grandmother if I'd had my children earlier and if they had children early, but they don't have any children. And I had mine late. How do I make biscuits? Well, I'm not a country grandma and I'm, well, I'm a, what, what do you call it? Uh, lazy grandma. <laughs> I use Grands or any other brand of uh, frozen biscuits or canned biscuits, but today I decided to get the uh, frozen, and this is the only one dollar you don't have. Well, they had their brand, but I went with this one just the same. So we're going to put the biscuits in the oven before it gets too cold. And here comes, is that you, I spy? Yep, I spy. Let's go out here. Here is a country back porch with all these kitties. And that pretty black and white one right there, he ain't fixed yet. Long story about me catching him one time. But he got loose. So, but his harem is mostly all fixed. So far we haven't had any kittens and kind of lost some of the cats. But that happens even when they weren't fixed that some of them would come up or not come up anymore. So I think right now we have 12. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where's the one I call Kitten? Kitten's not here. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to call him King Tut. That pretty black and white one. We had a female pretty black and white one. I called Miss Pearl. But one day I never saw her again. Saw her one day and next day, never again. Okay, where is Kitten? They don't care where Kitten's at. They just want to eat. All right, back to the biscuits. Here is my mother-in-law. And there is Sweet Pea. Look at her hands. He wants something to eat, though. Or she wants something to eat. But we haven't fed her yet. Ma, I put biscuits in the oven. Hey. Yeah. But when you were growing up, you didn't put them, I mean, you didn't get them frozen and put in the oven. No, you had to make them. Uh -huh. Did you ever make water biscuits? Probably so. <laughs> well, did you ever not have milk to put in the biscuits, so you just used what you had? Yeah. Probably, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what Leela, Miss Gorgeous, says that they had to do. Um, just make a batch of biscuits with whatever they had. Water, whatever. Water, Lord, and flour, I think she yeah. said. Yeah, we enjoyed them. <laughs> mm, you ate them anyway, huh? Oh, you didn't know no better. <laughs> Did you put salt in them by any chance? Or you don't remember? Well, the flour usually has the salt in oh, it. Oh, okay. We didn't use plain flour. We used Seth Rising. You know, it has all that in it. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, that's a good thing about Seth Rising. Right. So, Sweet Pea is waiting underneath the table <laughs> <laughs> for something to eat. And you made your own gravy. Oh, yeah. You didn't do it from a brown gravy mix like I do. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have it then. That's the reason we didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you <clears throat> use what you got. Yeah. And y'all didn't have a refrigerator back then either, did you? No. No. And they were called ice box in the beginning. Right. Because you had to buy hunks of ice to put in there and keep everything cool. Do you know I still say ice box? <laughs> even though I never saw an actual ice box. <laughs> but I think it's because my mother said ice box. Right. She had seen it. And so when refrigerators came out, that's too long to say. Oh, yeah. She would just call it the ice box. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what I was accustomed to saying, and I will still say icebox. But when I say it, I'm talking about the refrigerator. <laughs> but I like the word icebox better for it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, morning coffee. Now, Ma, that orange cup right there in front of you, that's a Firestone cup. And you had a green one, too. The handle broke. But I have it at the house. I didn't want to throw it away. It's kind of sentimental to me. Because I remember, I know you drank from all the different cups, but those, mm -hmm. those two stick in my mind as ones that you drank from most. Mm -hmm. was either the orange or the green one. So, anyway, I just went ahead and kept the green one, and I still got the handle. Jack had glued it, but it came undone. So I won't use it to actually hold and drink anything unless I hold it by the cup, you know, not, not the uh, handle part. I was having to think, what do you call that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that thing? Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out there. We've got the biscuits going. The cats have been fed, and Sweet Pea is waiting patiently. Mm-hmm. She's waiting to be fed. All right, that's all for now. Okay. In this pan, we have eggs with ham, so we're going to have scrambled eggs. In this pot, I'm attempting to make pork necks. I've never cooked pork necks before. And I think that's what I'm supposed to do. We're going to add some onion to it. And in here, I'm not burning them yet, <laughs> the biscuits. Okay, we just drank some coffee. I'll even make a small batch. Back over here to Ma, who's drinking her second cup of coffee. <laughs> Under there is Sweet Pea. Say good morning, Sweet Pea. Never mind, she hasn't had her first biscuit yet. Okay. Okay, we've, we've had company today, this afternoon. My husband's uh, son and daughter-in-law and uh, cousin of theirs came over and we had pizza sitting outside and my husband came and anyway I did get a thing in the mail and we're going to show it to you this is from Peachy Cheek I'm going to try to cut this with one hand while I'm holding Ma's grabbing hold of it for me okay we have teamwork here <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Okay. But. Okay, Ma. Hold that up and show it in front of the camera. Let's get away. Okay. That's called Blissful Dom Domestic Bliss. And I was thinking about the, uh, some of it's, uh, what you call, I thought some of it looked vintage. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Looks like houseware stuff. Okay, show this one, Ma. Okay. What is that one? Show the back of it. Well, the chair could be from the 70s. <laughs> okay. And that's stuff that's in it. Well, maybe I didn't get vintage stuff like I thought. But the chair could be from the 70s. Why did I think this was vintage? I don't know. Right now I need fall stuff. Ah, I'm sitting here going, why did I order that? Okay. Show this one, Ma. Yeah, we sat outside. It's been nice today. Okay, and this is a paper pad. Simple Stories Domestic Bliss. That doesn't look anything vintage. <laughs> oh, okay, is it kind of... Can you get it open at all? Moss trying. What I've had to do is use things people sent me for uh, in their fall pocket letters. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll let Ma take care of that. I'll just okay, do it the best you can, Ma. I'm showing stuff. Oh, okay. Home sweet home. Now that piece of paper, I don't know what I'd do with it. But anyway, show some more. It's pretty, but you'd have to really frame it. Same with that one. 
But then there's the back side. Okay, that's got a back side. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it falling apart, Moss. No big deal. No matter. Nah. But sooner or later, I'll take it apart anyway. Now, Ma, y'all didn't have pizza when you were growing up, did you? Nah. Nah. What did you have for something fast that your mother might have made? I have no idea. That's been too long ago to think <laughs> about. Too long. I don't know what would have been a fast food back then. I don't know. You used to Not everything too. being fast, fast, fast. Getting the line. If you have to wait five minutes, you think you've you know, waited forever. What's wrong with these people? Why are they taking so long? Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this is not vintage. Well, it's cute, but it's not vintage. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, Ma, let's see. Did you make fudge from scratch? Probably. Probably, okay. I've made fudge before. It takes a lot of stirring on the stove. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done that. I've made my own roux for gumbo. That takes a lot of stir, but... My mama says my gumbo is more like uh, soup than gumbo. <laughs> but I still like my what I call gumbo. But my mama makes it a little thicker and a little darker than what I do. I guess I'm scared of burning the flour. I don't know. But anyway, okay, well, that's about it for today. That's it for now. All right. You'll say bye, Ma. Bye-bye. See y'all later.